presidential interview that took place with Howard Stern. I'm sure you enjoyed that one. How was that experience for for you guys? You know, what kept you away from it? The fact that it was Howard Stern or that it was Joe Biden? <laughs> capital B, capital O, capital A, capital A. I like Howard Stern. Both. <laughs> I used to. I think this guy was 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 something new. Mm -hmm. So there was a, this guy was the he original was the, podcaster. He was yes, the yes, Joe sure. Rogan of yeah. his time. Sure. You know what I mean? Yes, he, he was the uh, the the rebel. He was mm -hmm. the uh, the maverick. The, 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 he was. You can name everything and anything. You know what yeah. I mean? And a lot of funny stuff, a lot of nonsense, but also yeah. a lot of funny stuff and put out there a way of communicating with people that essentially has created uh, 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 an incredible industry, uh, has created millionaires, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just out of something like that, he himself has done very well. I think that everybody says that COVID, COVID was a life-changing experience for him. In addition that he has never been necessarily a Republican or anything like that, right? Took a very strong position against Trump. He's not making it a secret that he's supporting Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. And he provided what everybody's labeling as the softest potential, low ball, as easier as I can make it type of interview for our president so that he doesn't look as Sinai and, and old and not knowing what the hell is going on. And even with all of that, though, like yeah. the interview ended up took a couple of turns for the, <laughs> for the worse, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so so what, what, do you, what do you think is, is that... Does that add value to to this, his presidential run? Because remember, whether you like it or not, due to their own action, due to the Department of Justice of, of this administration, mm -hmm. we ended up almost reversing the position. We were complaining about Joe Biden not coming out of the basement, and so Trump was out there kind of campaigning against himself, essentially, right? It's like the, the guy, when, when you when, sometimes you get too extreme in certain positions, you're not that likable. And if I'm getting too much of that, I like even less, right? But this time, Trump is actually locked up <laughs> in a courtroom in New York. Guess who's doing the campaigning for Trump? Because mm -hmm. Joe Biden now doesn't have the ability to be hiding in the basement. Mm -hmm. He's got to go out there. He's got to have conversations with people. And the more that he talks, <laughs> the more that he's helping Trump. Yeah. I didn't look really thoroughly through it, but I couldn't find the actual long form interview i really yeah. looked at it looked for it for like maybe two minutes i didn't Got but it. there was a lot of, no i'm telling you because if it no but if it is something that is important yeah, it should and be relevant everywhere. and like it should have been like here's 15 people that, that should have that up and yeah, no, yeah what they what had they had no more than here's a trend that i saw there was no more than two to three minutes clips, clips. they don't want you to see the whole thing yeah, yeah, because that I mean, <laughs> man, freaking internet! I swear. A, a lot of it, a lot of it. Though, I mean, it just took a little bit. At some point, it just took a turn for for, yeah. for, for the worse. You know what I mean? I mean, and and literally crazy to the point, and crazy to the point that you know, again, historical facts. Uh, the man at this point, it's almost like he can't tell the difference between a true statement and a lie. Yeah. And and you know that what's coming to you is definitely not going to be truthful. The moment that he says. It's a true story. The moment that he announces it's a true story, you just buckle up because the, what's coming at you right now is something that it's doesn't even little make little any little sense. He's talking yeah. about, you know, when his first wife passed away and he was essentially a single man. You, you know what I mean? And here's a senator. He said, you know, the, the, the ladies has started to send me uh, pictures. And I'm saying, well, we're not talking about selfies here, right? Because this was definitely not around. So what did they do? They took a Polaroid. A yeah. codec. Yeah, and, right, little codec something, send it to the place, That's and right. here you go, Joe, yeah. right? Because you are very eligible. And then by essentially, in all fairness, listen, uh, guy, accomplished, senator, making some money, Makes making sense. some moves. Uh, maybe he was a, 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 a bachelor that everybody was going after. But then he turned around and said it, it got so bad that he had to turn the pictures over to Secret Service. <laughs> you didn't have Secret Service around those days. <laughs> like at that point, somebody should have said. So you mean senators don't Like just to, you, you know what, just to have fun with him. He said, Mr. President, you, you, didn't, you didn't have Secret Service. Who did you share those pictures with? Maybe it was the guy from the cafeteria, but I was that Secret Service. <laughs> like, I, at least just to make it <laughs> well, fun. Because by not addressing the whole thing, like, now everybody looks stupid. Like, yeah. what, what do you mean? We don't know that as a senator? You don't, you don't, you don't have, like, there's so many no, things. You didn't that, understand. You didn't ahead. understand. So what happens is this. 
is Jesus. We need a translation. Alex, 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 we need a translation for so this. How, here's how it works. So you yeah. know how you got Uber Eats, right? Yes. Highly so paid by the when you, Biden when you, and you go, If you go to certain restaurants, right? Yes. And you don't have to order the food. They just bring it out to you, right? Okay. That's what we call secret service. Right, so then you don't even have to say what, what it is. I'm telling you, this? you guys don't even know about this. There's a whole new thing that you didn't understand, so you thought you understood. Don't ever try to disrespect our friends. <laughs> There's a reason why he said what he said. There's a reasonable explanation. You I'm just don't this. understand. So there was a guy who was Secret Service that was not Secret Service, but it yes. was Secret Service. It was Secret Service, but not the type of Secret but Service you thought it was. not the type of Secret Service there that, that, that was a there different type of Secret Service. There you go. Listen, there's a lot of things that I'm, re- <laughs> no, that I'm learning you. about presidential yes. <laughs> but but again but listen this, i don't yeah. blame i don't blame biden i'll tell you that you, you like, don't I blame him no do blame? i blame everybody else what? i blame every single other person who got grandpa in a position of doing anything like i had a grandfather right who was very old and at some point in time i was like give me those keys i need them <laughs> you're not allowed to drive anymore so i blame everybody else who's, who's letting him, him giving, giving keys. him keys Letting him do these interviews, letting him speak, like, no, you can't do that. So, so if Grandpa <laughs> did something wrong, yes, you would have taken full responsibility. And I, 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 once it. I realized that Grandpa has Alzheimer's and he's past 100 years old, yes, 100% of <laughs> my fault. But this dude is fault. not past 100, he, and he was just cleared no, that's by the, come on, come on, the no, whatever the hell uh-uh, doctor, uh-uh. by the general surgeon of well, the United that States. Needs to be fired. To be, no, uh-uh, that's so, the problem. Well, at least this is Alexei Ozygen. <laughs> some on, people uh, should now officially be held accountable. No, 100%. 100%. I'm telling you. Because, because what you're saying it's right gonna now. It's going to come listen, out later. Grandpa Smith, right? He, yeah. he's, he's, he's not running not even for city council no. you know what i mean what well, he wasn't running not even for that to the <laughs> this guy this guy is running for that's the, the problem president of yes, the united that states that is a huge problem but i could right? see why so me because watch this now because grandpa smith he got phenomenal credit he can get anything he wants at a discount so i still want him to be in that position because if I can use his name, I can get whatever I want. So okay, okay. So that, Grandpa Biden is Grandpa Smith. Yes. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. <laughs> Who's the Alexi in that whole thing? Uh, uh, all the other No, people. no. So there's not one person. Yeah, it's not just one. Absolutely not. It can't but be But there one. was one Alexi in your house. No, there's more than one. Okay. There's more than one. I mean, but, yeah, but there's a lot of listen, other people who are part of the family. The, exactly. There's, there's, a there's, a lot, of, there's a lot of handlers. There's a lot of people that are trying to minimize the level of impact. But at yeah. the same time, though, you got to realize... That but they're egging on Grandpa Smith. Yeah, whenever you put him in front of somebody, in front of a group of people, whenever at this point, yeah. it's impossible to hide it.